This isn't a typo. Nope. What's next? What's next? What's N-X-E-T? What's up? You're watching Hive Mind, the flashiest show on the internet. My name is Riley Zozer with my critically panned co-host, Dignan. The thermometer gave me a 1%. Rotten. Today we're taking some bizarre bars and seeing what happens. This is Guess, Guess the, the Rapper from, from the Weird Lyric. lyric. You didn't see the other one? This is how it's gonna work. We're gonna read a weird lyric that a rapper said and try to guess who said it. One, one, one point for each one to get right. Me versus Diggy versus you. Silver from London, England. Second best, usually, but third best today. All right, before we do do, make sure you like the video, subscribe if you wanna see more. Go to hivemindtv.com and check out our merch. Also consider joining our Patreon. It's only $5 a month, you get extra content. And maybe purchase a cameo from us. Get us to say a special message just for you and most importantly, last call. Our show is Saturday night in Detroit. Michigan. Come see us live with a bunch of great artists. Their names are on the screen. It's going to be very fun and we hope to see you there. Christian Slater's coming, so why wouldn't you? It's actually my Christian friend Slater from high school. First ones we got Chubba Chubba Chubba, Chubba 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 Chubba. I don't have lines to go right here, so Chubba Teletubby. <sighs> This is genius stuff yes. right here. <laughs> chubba Chubba Teletubba. I used to watch the Teletubbies, but everything on TV is just so hard for me to stomach lately. <laughs> I really hate to admit it, but it's just now clicking for me that they're called Teletubbies. Literally, just now it's clicking. That they're called Teletubbies? And like that, that because they have TVs on, on their, their stomachs. Tubbies, yeah. On their yeah, stomachs. Yeah, Teletubby. It's just now click. I don't understand how I've gone my whole life. I've just, just been like, never... that's like their name. Yeah. <laughs> that's just like a thing. <laughs> and then the Teletubbies have TVs on their stomach and they're completely separate. Grant, did you know? No. See, that's, I like the honesty. Yeah. See, that's the genius of the bar. <laughs> it got me to realize that the Teletubbies have TVs on their stomach. Three, two, one. I put Kanye. I put Lil Wayne. This is Eminem. Ah. That, it was either Eminem or Kanye yeah. for me. I don't know. Fuck. I can't believe it. His energy is just unmatched. Uh, yeah. <laughs> when he's getting in that zone, it's it's intense. Old M. Yes. Yeah. Just lose it. Yeah. Yeah, Go song. crazy. Yeah. Oh, I remember that. All right. <laughs> I knew this would show up in one of our games at some point, mm -hmm. and I am gonna read this one, regrettably. Let me read it. Sure, it seems like a job for Dick. <laughs> I'll take it from here, buddy. Yep. Sit back, relax, and yep. listen to these smooth words of poetry. Fucked her in the ass, made her pee pee. Woo! I mean, this puts a whole new meaning to pushing pee. Right, I'm Manila in the bedroom, I'm pushing the envelope. That's good. You like that? Yeah. Three, two, one. Future. Future. This is future. On For a Nut, right? I'm that guy. Oh, it's on that song. I forgot. Okay, yeah. Put in the ass, made a pee pee. I love futures. Woo. It's just a tiny celebration. Uh -huh. You know? Fucking her in the ass and making her pee pee was a small win for future. He goes, woo. <laughs> it's like his fifth favorite team who's still in the playoffs won. Yeah. Woo. -woo. All right, let's get on to the third one. She blow that dick like a cello. Fuck her, then send that bitch home on the metro. Send her on the metro? That's not nice. Blow that dick like a cello. Think about it. What? I mean, it's a string instrument. <laughs> Is it? Yeah, cello. I've seen people blow them. Well, it's not common. Like, you know, Jimi Hendrix played the guitar with his tongue. Yeah. I've seen cello virtuosos kind uh -huh. of play it with wind. Right. Everything's a wind mm. instrument if you blow on it. Hard enough. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Playing the drums like... <laughs> <laughs> This one's iconic. Yeah, this one's classic. He had to explain himself. What was the explanation? He didn't know what a cello was. Yeah. <laughs> really? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Just didn't know. Thought it was something else. Full grown adult. That's all right. If you put like an oboe, a clarinet, and an ocarina in front of me and said, which one's which? I'd be like, I don't even have time for this. <laughs> <laughs> what a weird question for me to answer. I'm a grown man. <laughs> Why are you asking me to just say which instrument is which? Isn't this for like kindergartners? Why are you in a Whole Foods? <laughs> Why do you have a clipboard? That's such a weird question to ask. Is this a survey or like? I'm voting Republican, if that's what you're asking. <laughs> Three, two, one. Yachty. Lil Yachty. This is Lil Yachty. Yes. She blow that dick like a cello. Fuck a death in that bitch, I'm on the metro. That's an underrated, stupid bar. Next we've got 38 revolve like the sun round the earth. But the sun does not revolve around the earth. <laughs> Facts. The earth revolves around the sun. Depending on what you believe, I'm not here to tell anybody what to believe. Galileo, 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 Brigado, Brigado. <laughs> What's happening? Eddie Mercury. Mercury's a planet. The planets. The sun. Thank you. Eddie Mercury? Yep. The lead singer of Queen. Eddie Mercury. Yeah. Okay. 
I hate to ask this question. Who voices the donkey in Shrek? Freddie Murphy. Freddie Murphy and Eddie Mercury. Yeah, yeah. Freddie Murphy's Doctor Doolittle. Oh man, I don't feel very good, man. I feel like I have Murphy poisoning. <laughs> <laughs> Space may be the final frontier, but it's made in a Hollywood basement. They said that, so that's they did, facts. Yeah, Red Hot Chili Peppers. You know they have a successful restaurant chain. Are you talking about Chili's? <laughs> it's Chili's, yeah. Uh, the, the band opened that up after their second tour. Really? Yeah. They, they opened up a restaurant in each city they toured to, and so it's like a place their fans can go and commiserate in their fandom of tortillas. <laughs> that almost makes too much sense. <laughs> All right, do one. I put 21 Savage. I put Young Thug. This is Jay-Z. Mm. Jay-Z says this? Yeah. If the sun revolved around the earth, wouldn't we see like an earth set? No, we wouldn't live on the sun. <laughs> Would we? <laughs> Let's hear Jay-Z be wrong about the galaxy. <laughs> 38 revolve like the sun round the earth. Hell yeah. <laughs> the GOAT, best rapper alive. Best rapper alive, Jay-Z. Haha, -ha, it's Hove, there are 13 planets. <laughs> B, the moon is the size of a baby elephant. <laughs> I can't do a Jay-Z impression, I tried. <laughs> yeah, it's not bad. All right, here we go. I'm kind of like a prettier Jesus. I'm assuming that's how it sounds in the song. Could be like a dolphin, like. <laughs> oh, stop. That turns me on. I know. <laughs> <laughs> the only thing I worship is this money. Call me sacrilegious. <laughs> Three, two, one. Lil B. Russ. This is Lord. It's who? Oh, Lord. She does. I'm kind of like a prettier Jesus. Oh my God. <laughs> I wasn't, I was thinking of rappers. <laughs> Lord's got bars. I mean, obviously. Yeah. I'm kind of like a prettier Jesus. Solar power, right? Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Now, she will burn in hell for eternity for that, right? I mean, yes, if he hath told us the truth, then she shall suffer. Grinding of teeth, hellfire. Brimstone. <laughs> All right, here we go. How I ain't bring nothing to the table when I'm the table. Is that a flex? He's a table. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm a straight up table, bro. <laughs> you know, I got a boat for Christmas. Oh, nice. Looks like I'm moving to Santa Cruz. <laughs> uh, who's a table? Three, two, one. Yay. Drake. It is Kanye West. Yes. Damn, you remember this one? Yeah, this is on Donda. It's on Easy. Oh, it's on Easy. Yeah. yeah, okay. Felt like something Drake would say. How I ain't bring nothing to the table when I'm the table. I ain't bring nothing to the table when I'm the table. Somehow it just makes sense. Like, I know it doesn't make sense, yeah. but it just does. Yeah, it like implies that he bought the table. Maybe he designed the table and like it's a Yeezy table. But I also think it's like, it's kind of saying I'm everything. Like I've provided everything. Mm -hmm. it, I mean, I think it makes sense for the music industry, but then he's probably more so saying it about his marriage, which makes it less charming. Nothing charming about divorce. Nothing charming about divorce, <laughs> except for the spiraling and the effect it has on the children. Really? Yes. You think that's charming? Yes. <laughs> oh, why are you so hyped about it? I love it. You know what I think would be a fun job? Huh. Divorce court jester. Let's lighten the mood. <laughs> oh man. I just fucked a cup of water. I did. <laughs> I just fucked a cup of water. I did. I hate to dissect this one. Shall we or should we yeah, leave it as is? We should probably dissect it. Okay. I think it's referring to the genitalia moisture of the woman he just had coitus with. <laughs> Correct. She was so wet, she was a cup of water. Three, two, one. I put Young Thug. I put Quavo. It is Young Thug. Yeah. I thought I remembered this like very vaguely, but I don't remember what song it's on. Push and P. Push and P. Oh, yeah. he says that on that? Yeah. Wow. It's good for him. He gets away with a lot. Well, well. I didn't say <laughs> I just push a cup of water. Young Thug could say whatever the fuck he wants, and I'm like, damn. Let's go. Yeah, Young Thug's delivery has allowed him to say so many things. He just has a way of spinning everything into being like hard. Yeah. He said he fucked a cup of water on a very popular song. And he was like, yeah, that's the verse I'm turning yeah, in. I got it. Absolutely. Here we go. They can't understand me. I'm talking hieroglyphics. Yeah. I remember this one. I do too. Oh yeah, wait a minute, yeah. Duh. Talking hieroglyphics, yeah. I mean, that's like talking in pictures. For the young people out there, hieroglyphics are basically like ancient emojis. Yes. <laughs> Praying mantis sex is actually pretty progressive when you think about it, because yeah. the women always get head. 
<laughs> Three, two, one. Cardi. Little baby. Playboy Cardi. Dang yep. it. I didn't know he's such a history buff. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you could put every person in the world in Ohio and they'd still, everybody would have an acre. You could put every person in the world in Ohio and they'd have a boring fucking time. Hey. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm from there. I love it. Come hey, on. Hey, CP. Up? Cedar Point. Cedar Point. Yeah. The Buckeyes. You shouldn't call it CP, by the way. Why? It's just not. Yeah, CP. Yeah, I love of, going to yeah. CP. Yeah, nah. CP Town? Yeah, no. Nah. What? Let's call it Cedar Point. Let's just leave it Cedar Point. Or Cedar P. You can do Cedar P. <laughs> or C Point. They can't understand me. I'm talking hieroglyphics. The delivery is so crazy on Whole Lot of Red. Yeah. I didn't see that coming. I'm talking hieroglyphics. More like Metamorbius. <laughs> hey! Go Morby. Go Morby. He's going Morbin. This is Go. the most I've talked about a movie that I don't even know a single thing about. Damn. I'm not gonna see All it. I know is Jared Leto's in it, and that's it. I'm not joking. I don't know the plot. All I know is people hate it, but it's funny to say it's Morbin time and Morbius and... <laughs> you know what I've been saying a lot? Huh. Where's my pig? Nicholas Cage. <laughs> Nicholas Cage, yeah. yeah. You know, I once bought a guillotine. Lightly used, of course. And just for the curiosity. Think about what went on there. And to have that, it's, <laughs> it's exciting to me. Can I pay you to never do the Nick Cage impression again? How much? 20 bucks. No shot. I love it. It's too much. 40? 60? I don't got 60. Yeah, yeah. I've lived in Vegas for 13 years, and uh, I was never much of a gambler, but uh, but I like I like the lifestyle. It's, it's shiny. It's glittery. It's, it's it's showtime. It's show business. It's <laughs> it's hookers. It's gamblers. It's rejects. It's it's the epicenter of American culture mm -hmm. all in one place. It's it's like a mall turned up to 13. You know. I agree, Mr. Cage. Yeah. All right, cool. I'm done with the Nicolas Cage thing. Now, I don't ever want to be perfect because I'm a singer that you never want to see shirtless. <laughs> huh. Yeah, Um. okay. So let's see if we can do this without body shaming because mm -hmm. everybody is beautiful. I like the butt a lot. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Big butt guy. Yeah, I know that. Yeah. Oh, I love a good ass. I understand. <laughs> Woo! Yeah. You know what I mean? Wow, wow, wee wah. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Oh, wow, wow, giggity, goo goo gaga. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. I'll eat it too. I'm not afraid to. <laughs> I will do it. Sure, sure, sure. I will do it. To when I, each their own. Only when I'm in love, though. Right. That's good. So if I ever eat your ass, that's how you know I'm in love with you. Three, two, one. Put Ed Sheeran. Matt, logic. <laughs> Ed Sheeran. I went the bad tattoos route. He's got yeah. a terrible lion tattoo on his chest, and I do not want to see him shirtless anymore. He's also covered in freckles, which are signs of sins you committed in a past life. Really? That's what freckles are, and that's I'm sticking to it. Really? If you're covered in freckles, it means you are bad person. There are so many cute girls I have to unfriend on Facebook after Evil. This. Yeah. Full geez. of evil. <laughs> I've got freckles on my hands. Oh, that's not good. What have I done? For bad things, probably. You'll never know, though. I don't ever want to be perfect, because I'm a singer that you never want to see shirtless. And I okay. Bars. Oh, yeah, he was rapping. Yeah, yeah that's okay. fucking hard. Yeah, thank you, Grant. I appreciate that. Yeah, it was fucking hard. I was worried because, you know, it's a game about rappers. We already had Lord. Now we got Ed Sheeran, and he's even said singer in this, but he was rapping. Yeah. So, yeah, it's fair. It's fair play. Fair point. I pissed the bed last night. <laughs> uh, again? Yeah. I'm going to start sleeping in a garbage bag again. I hate when you talk to me about your problems. I'm sorry. It's just like, <laughs> I don't have much for you. Yeah. And it's like, kind of like, you know, it's like annoying. Help. It's like a, yeah. See? Help me. No, yeah. So it's like, I, clean my piss. It's kind of like a yap. You know ah. what I mean? Yeah. Yep, 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 clean my piss up. Yeah, see, this is, yeah. yeah. Jokes are cool, but like the other the problems. Stuff, the problems. Yeah, yeah. Leave that. Leave that at the studio door. <laughs> gotcha. No. This isn't a typo? Nope. What's next? What's next? What's N-X-E-T? A dyslexic son of a bitch. Yeah. <laughs> or it's like, maybe they work at a radio station? N-X-E-T. <laughs> Coming to you live. 79.8. <laughs> what's next? What's next? What's N-X-E-T? I don't know what N-X-E-T is. <laughs> yeah, I don't. Yeah. I might know what's next. I have, maybe. A, good, I have a good guess, I yeah. guess. Probably some more weird lyrics. Yeah, for us, yeah. weird lyrics. For you guys, probably like a series of events, some positive, some negative, mm -hmm. and then certain death. Yeah. After which, I personally think the TV screen goes black. I think it's like, you know, it might fizz for a second, but the TV's off. I think you go to Cedar P. You go to Cedar <laughs> Point when you die. <laughs> mm -hmm. Three, two, one. Logic. Action Bronson. This is Warren G. Warren, Warren G. G said this? In regulators? It's called songs called What's Next. <laughs> and he says, What's N X E T? <laughs> Say, What's next? What's next? What's N X E T? It <laughs> Shout out cool. Warren G, though. Shout out Warren G. Regulators! <laughs> Can't misspell G. It's one letter. Hell yeah. <laughs> All right, next one. Or er, N E X E T one. It ain't love if you gonna judge me for my past. No, it ain't love if you ain't never eat my ass. Exactly. <laughs> Very weird how you kind of said this earlier in the video. I love you. 
I whisper it in there too. Bad form. <laughs> <laughs> Three, two, one. Summer Walker. But BFB Pac Man? It is Summer Walker. Damn it, I remember the line now. On the new Kendrick yeah, album. Of course, I listened to it a billion times. Yeah. It ain't love if you don't judge me for my past. No, it ain't love if you ain't ever eat my ass. She says it in like a really romantic way. Yeah. Sounds like genuine. Okay. Next we got Get It Done and We Don't Feel the Pity. We be higher than Godzilla's titty. <laughs> <laughs> this is like a brand of uncle jokes. They're like, I'm higher than giraffe pussy. Yeah. Like, I'm like, yeah. all right, dude, you get, don't need another Topo Chico. <laughs> Set it down, Uncle Jeff. <laughs> That's higher than a giant's ball sack. See, I hate the un uncles have bad humor. Why do your uncles sound like that? Are they from Toledo? <laughs> yeah. There's one thing I do love about the glass city, and that's the people. I know a lot of people like to call us Detroit's idiot cousin, but we sure do got a stankin' art museum. Three, two, one. Quavo. MGK. This is Tech Nine. <laughs> Tech Nine says this. Oh, nice. That makes a lot of sense. Yeah, it makes more sense than Quavo. <laughs> way more sense than MGK. What well, about MGK would say some shit like that? I don't know. Get it done and we don't feel the pity. We be higher than Godzilla's titty. Love that flow. <laughs> Do I really gotta spell it out? I T. I spell it out. This is, I hate this kind of shit. Do I really gotta spell it out? I T. Spell it out. <laughs> Greatest rapper alive. Manual, are you here? <laughs> Wait, what? Are you Manual, are you I'm trying to talk to a ghost. Shh. Manual, make your presence known if you're still haunting this house. I have a question, just a logistical question. Yes. Um, is his name Manual? <laughs> Or Emmanuel. It's manual. Just, <laughs> just manual. Manual. Present yourself. I don't know, man. This ghost seems hard to read. There he is. Where? You can't see him. No, he's a ghost. That he's right probably... there. Okay. Ah, he's taking off his pants. Okay, sure. Oh, it's nice. He's got tight underpants on. I can see the whole print. What? Thank you, Manuel. <laughs> he's out of here. <laughs> he's still there. I just can't stop looking. Oh, thank you, Manuel. Three, two, one. I put J Cole. NF. <laughs> This is Sean Mendez. <laughs> oh my god. Sean oh. Mendez? Nah. I thought he was better than that. J. Cole NF Sean Mendez. Here we go. You see it. <laughs> I forgot, but they gotta spell it out. I see you spell it out. <laughs> I tell you, I tell it out. What song could this possibly be? Is this from Hamilton? It's an old song. <laughs> yeah, I bet. All right, here we go. Last one. Wiccafe's Task Force. Yeah. I'm kissing Styrofoam. Baby, you get what you ask for. You know this one, too. Well, of course. This is iconic. You got to appreciate the breadth of this channel. Yes. You gotta just appreciate it for a second. Give it up, folks. Tech Nine, Sean Mendez, Wiccafe's Springs Eternal. Three, two, one. Lil Peep. Lil Peep. It is Lil Peep. You yeah. got it. There we go. Yeah, wow. I'm fucking, I'm fucking sick and goth. Goth boy click misery club till I die. Your army? That's just the lifestyle I live. We're good face task force. Okay. Yeah, no. baby, you get what you ask for. I'm kissing styrofoam. I wrote Lil Baby. I started writing Lil <laughs> and then I was talking to Dignan and I forgot and I started writing Lil Baby. That'd be sick if Lil Baby said this. <laughs> Lil Baby saying yes, Wicca Face Task Force. Wicca Face Task Force. <laughs> well, that was another game of Guess the Rapper from the Weird Lyric. 8-3, final score was a hard-fought battle. Diggy, you did what you could. I tried, man. You beat my ass. Though. That's all we ask of you. Thank you. Before we get out of here, make sure you like the video, subscribe, all that stuff I said at the beginning. Buy tickets to our live show. Please it's, come. It's Saturday in Detroit. It's going to be super, super fun, and you should show up and also show out. The Free Press says it's going to be the event of the century. And they are a trustworthy news publication. All right, other than that, Diggy, you want to leave these wonderful people some advice to leave or live their lives by? Turn all your money into coins. <laughs> and oh, way more. <laughs> You'll have way more money. All right, this has been Hive My TV. We love you. We appreciate you. And we'll see See you in the next one. Deuces, man. Ha <laughs> ha. Do see you later. Ha. <laughs> Oops. Morbin time. Peanuts. <laughs> the new penis-shaped Cheez-Its. Peanuts. Well, our other working name was Dick Cheese, and people <laughs> didn't like that one. <laughs> AKA Smegma Bites, but it's whatever. It's it's, I'm just new here. I'm just doing my best. Finally. <laughs> Peanuts. <laughs> Shout out Tucker Carlson. Shout out Tucker Carlson. I agree with you. I agree with you. Yeah. <laughs> Riley goes all right. <laughs> you know the Teletubbies fought? Like, in fighting? Oh, really? Yeah. They didn't like each other? Mm-mm.
Patrick CC should make a video about that. <laughs> the Teletubbies never liked each other. The underbelly of the Teletubbies <laughs> Ooh, show. Because they got a the TV, TV stomach. Yeah. yeah. Wow.